Hi, and welcome to Bible Buddy. And today we are reading for day number 156, and we're reading from 1 Kings 18 to 19. Let's pray. Dear Father, as we read your word, please open our eyes and our hearts so we can read and understand your word. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. And it came to pass after many days that the word of the Lord came to Elijah in the third year, saying, Go show thyself unto Ahab, and I will send rain upon the earth. And Elijah went and showed himself unto Ahab, and there was a sore famine in Samaria. And Ahab called Obadiah, which was in the governor of his house. Now Obadiah feared the Lord greatly, for it was so when Jezebel cut off the prophets of the Lord, that Obadiah took a hundred prophets and hid them in fifty in a cave, and fed them with bread and water. And Ahab said unto Abadiah, Obadiah, go into the land, unto all fountains of water, and go unto all brooks. Herodah, venture, we may find grass to save the horses and mules alive, that we lose not all the beasts. So they divided the land between them to pass through it. Ahab went one way by himself, and Obadiah went another way by himself. And as Obadiah as in the way, behold, Elijah met him, and knew, and he knew him, and fell on his face, and said, Art thou that my lord Elijah? And he said, He answered him, I am, go, tell thy lord, behold, Elijah is here. This is really giving me goosebumps as I read this. And he said, What have I sent, that thou wouldest deliver thy servant into the hand of Ahab to slay me? As the Lord my, thy God liveth, there is no nation or kingdom whither my Lord hath not sent to seek thee. And when they said, He is not there, he took an oath of the kingdom and nation, and he found thee not. And now thou wilt say, sayest, Go tell thy Lord, Behold, Elijah is here. And it shall come to pass, as soon as I am gone from thee, that the Spirit of the Lord shall carry thee whither I know not. And so, when I come to tell Ahab, and he cannot find thee, he shall slay me, but I thy servant fear the Lord from thy youth, my youth. Was it not told my Lord that what I did when Jezebel slew the prophets of the Lord, how I hid an hundred men of the Lord's prophet by fifty in a cave, and fed them with bread and water? And now thou sayest, Go tell thy Lord, Behold, Elijah is here, and he shall slay me. And Elijah said, As the Lord of hosts liveth, before whom I stand, I will surely show myself unto him today. So Obadiah went to meet Ahab and told him, and Ahab went to meet Elijah. And it came to pass when Ahab saw Elijah, that Ahab said unto him, Art thou he that troubled Israel? And he answered, I have not troubled Israel, but thou and thy father's house, in that ye have forsaken the commandments of the Lord, and thou hast followed Baalim. And now therefore send and gather to me all Israel unto Mount Carmel, and the prophets of Baal four hundred and fifty, and the prophets of the groves four hundred, which eat at Jezebel's table. So Ahab sent unto all the children of Israel, and gathered the prophets under unto Mount Carmel. And Elijah came unto all the people, and said, How long halt ye between two opinions? If the Lord be God, follow him. But if Baal, then follow him. And the people answered him not a word. Then said Elijah unto the people, I, even I only, remain a prophet of the Lord. But Baal's prophets are four hundred and fifty men. Let them before give us two bullocks. And let them juice one bullet for himself, and cut it in pieces, and lay it on wood, and put no fire under. And I will dress the other bullock, and lay it on wood, and put no fire under. And call ye on the name of your gods, and I will call on the name of the Lord. And of God that answereth by fire, let him be God. And all the people answered and said, It is well spoken. And Elijah said unto the prophets of Baal, Choose you one bullet for yourself, and dress it first, for ye are many, and call on the name of your gods, and put no fire under. And they took the bullet which was given to them, and dressed it, and called the name of Baal, from morning even unto noon, saying, O Baal, hear us. But there was no voice, nor any that answered, and they leaped upon the altar which was made. And it came to pass at noon, that Elijah mocked them, and said, 
cry aloud, for he is a god. Either he is talking, or he is pursuing, or he is a journey, or peradventure, so he sleepeth, and must be awaked. And they cried aloud, and cut themselves after their manner with knives and lances, till the blood gushed out upon them. And it came to pass, when midday was past, and they prophesied unto the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice. And there was neither voice, nor any to answer, nor any that regarded. And Elijah said unto all the people, Come near unto me. And all the people came near unto him, and he repaired the altar of the Lord that was broken down. And Elijah took twelve stones, according to the number of tribes, the sons of Jacob, unto whom the word of the Lord came, saying, Israel shall be thy name. And with the stones he built an altar in the name of the Lord, and he made a trench about the altar, as great as would certain two measures of seed. And he put the wood in order, and cut the bowl up in pieces, and laid them on the wood, and said, Fill four barrels of water, and pour it on a burnt sacrifice, and on the wood. And he said, Do it the second time. And they did it the second time. And he said, Do it the third time. And they did it the third time. And the water ran around, round about the altar, and he filled the trench also with water. And it came to pass at the time of offering of the evening sacrifice, that Elijah the prophet came near and said, Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, and of Israel, let it be known this day that thou art God in Israel, and that I am thy servant, and that I have done all these things of thy word. Hear me, O Lord, hear me, that this people may know that thou art the Lord God, and that thou hast turned their heart back again. Then the fire of the Lord fell, and consumed the burnt sacrifice, and the wood, and the stones, and the dust, and licked up the water that was in the trench. And all the people saw it. They fell on their faces, and they said, The Lord, he is the God. The Lord, he is the God. And Elijah said unto them, Take the prophets of Baal. Let not one of them escape. And they took them. And Elijah brought them down to the brook Kishon, and slew them there. And Elijah said unto Ahab, Get thee up, eat and drink, for there is a sound of abundance of rain. So Ahab went up to eat and drink, and Elijah went up to the top of Carmel and cast himself down upon the earth, and put his face between his knees. And he said to his servants, Go up now, look forward to the sea. And he went up and looked and said, There is nothing. And he said, Go again seven times. And it came to pass at the seventh time, that he said, Behold, there arises a little cloud of the sea, like a man's hand. And he said, Go up, said unto Ahab, Prepare thy chariot, and get thee down, that the rain stop thee not. And it came to pass in the meanwhile that the heaven was black with clouds and wind, and there was a great rain, and Ahab rode and went to Jezreel. And the hand of the Lord was on Elijah, and he girded up his loins and ran before Ahab into the entrance of Jezreel. And Ahab told Jezebel that all that Elijah had done, and without how he had slain all the prophets with the sword, and Jezebel sent a messenger unto Elijah, saying, So let the gods do to me, and more also, if I make not thy life as the life of one of them by tomorrow about this time. And when he saw that, he arose and went for his life, and came to Beersheba, which belonged to Judah, and his, left his servant there. But he himself went a day's journey into the wilderness, and he came and sat down under a juniper tree and he requested for himself that he might die and said it is enough now O lord take away my life for i am not better than my father's and as he lay and slept under a ju juniper tree behold then an angel touched him and said unto him arise and eat and he looked and behold there was a cake bacon on the coals and a cruise of water at his head and he did eat and drink and he laid down again and the angel of the Lord came again the second time and touched him and said, Arise and eat, because the journey is too great for thee. And he arose, did eat and drink, and went the strength that meet forty days and forty nights unto Horeb, the man of God. And he came tighter, thither into a cave, and lodged there. And behold, the word of the Lord came to him, and he said unto him, What knowest, what knowest thou here, Elijah? 
And he said, I have been very jealous for the Lord, God of hosts, for the children of Israel, forsaken thy covenant, thrown down thine altars, and slain thy prophets with the sword. And I, even I only, am left, and they seek my life to take it away. And he said, Go forth to stand upon the mount before the Lord. And behold, the Lord passed by, and a great and strong wind rent the mountains, and break into pieces of rocks before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind, and after the wind an earthquake. But the Lord was not in the earthquake, and after the earthquake a fire. But the Lord was not in the fire, and after the fire and still a small voice. And it was so when Elijah heard it, that he wrapped his face on his mantle and went out, and stood in the entering of the cave, and behold, there came a voice unto him, What doest thou here, Elijah? And he said, I have been jealous for the Lord God of hosts, because the children of Israel have forsaken thy covenant, thrown down thine altars, and slain thy prophets with the sword. And I, even I, only am left, for they seek my life to take it away. And the Lord said unto him, Go return on thy way to the wilderness of Damascus. And when thou comest, anoint Hazael to be king over Syria. And Jehu, the son of Nimshi, shalt, join, shalt thou anoint to be king over Israel. And Elisha, the son of Shaphat, of Abel, Mehola, shalt thou anoint to be the prophet in thy room. And it shall come to pass that him that escapeth the word of the sword of Hazael shall Jehu slay. And him that escapeth from the word, sword of Jehu shall Elisha slay. Yet I have left me seven thousand in Israel, all the knees which I have not bowed unto Baal, and every mouth that hath not kissed him. So he departed thence and found Elisha, the son of Saphat who was plowing, plow, plowing with twelve yoke of oxen before him, and he with the twelve. And Elijah passed by him and cast his mantle upon him. And he left the oxen and ran after Elijah and said, Let me, I pray thee, kiss my father and my mother, and I will follow thee. And he said unto him, Go back again, for what have I done to thee? And he turned back from him and took a yoke of oxen and slew him and bore their flesh with the instruments of the oxen, and gave unto the people, and they did eat. Then he arose, and went after Elijah, and ministered unto him. Okay, let's go to Psalm number 138. The Psalm of David. I will praise thee with my whole heart, before the gods I will sing praise unto thee. I will worship toward thy holy temple, and praise thy name for thy loving kindness, and for thy truth, for thou hast magnified thy word above all thy name. In the day when I cry, thou answerest me, and strengthenest me with strength in my soul. All the kings of the earth shall praise thee, O Lord, when they hear the words of thy mouth. Yea, they shall sing in the ways of the Lord, for great is the glory of the Lord. Though the Lord be high, yet he hath he respect unto the lowly, but the proud he knoweth afar off. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, thou wilt revive me. Thou shalt trench forth thine hand against the wrath of mine enemies, and thy right hand shall save me. The Lord will perf perfect, will perfect that which concerneth me. Thy mercy, O Lord, endureth forever. Forsake not the works of thine own hands. All right. Well, thank you so much for reading with me, and I hope that you're learning from these readings and um because i am for sure and um i hope you're having a great day and i'll see you tomorrow bye, -bye.